Welcome to NUS Exchange Group. In this video, we will be recapping how we went about identifying, prioritizing, and refining the features that we selected for our application. Firstly, we started out by identifying the problem through user feedback. Every year, 2,000 NUS students embark on the Student Exchange Program, and as stated in our Problems and Solutions video, the top problems that our users faced when we conducted our research were as such. Using the user feedback we received, we identified the data that students require in their decision-making process. Secondly, we went on to designing features to solve the problems faced by our users in the first round of user feedback. In our clickable prototype, we came up with four features, each feature solving a specific problem faced by our users. Next, our prioritizing phase. Our features were presented to our users for a second round of user testing. We showed our clickable prototype to 20 users who have gone on exchange in the past two years across five different faculties and asked them what features they found useful and not useful as well as what other features they would like to see. Users found that being able to filter partner universities by average expenditure and cap was useful and they do not need to waste their time applying for universities outside of their budget and academics. They also found that seeing a list of pre-approved modules and popular mapped modules for each university helpful, as this was one of the highlighted pain points for our users. However, some users found some features confusing and suggested we included tooltips to make the app more intuitive. Other users also wanted to see more features that allowed them to search for specific modules that they want to map. Thus, a new feature was added, allowing students to search for a module to see what universities it can be mapped to. With our user feedback, we were able to prioritize the features we needed to build our application. Moving on to our refining stage. Using our Deploy app, we brought it to our users for a third round of user testing. In this round, we asked users what they liked and disliked about each feature and asked them to rank our features according to their level of importance. Users feedback that the Compare Universities feature was too complex and did not value add to their decision-making process. Thus, in refining our features, we decided to drop the un Compare Universities feature from our application. Coming in fourth place, users feedback that university details addressed their problems of the lack of information on universities, as well as student reviews and ratings for each university. However, students stated that details such as university description and location can be easily found online, whereas demographic information such as student di distribution across majors and semesters were more crucial information. Thus, we added a new segment, Analysis, which provides users with student reviews and demographics such as the percentage of students from each major and their cap distribution. Our third place feature is Universities by Major. Users feedback that this feature addressed their problem of wasting time looking through a long list of partner universities and applying for unsuitable universities, since CAP, budget and suitability to their major were their main considerations when choosing a university for exchange, we created filters that allowed users to filter out universities that did not fit their requirements. However, users disliked that the information was presented in a graph as it was counterintuitive. Thus, we added a table of all universities for students of their major for easier reference. Coming in the second place, our newly added feature, Search Modules. Our users found this feature important as module mapping was placed as the biggest issue that users face when applying for exchange. However, users would like more flexibility in searching for modules. Thus, we added an option of being able to search for modules through either the module code or module name. Our first place feature is the module mappings by university. This feature was praised by users for significantly reducing their time taken to do their module mappings. Previously, users estimate the time taken for module mappings as 20 hours. With this feature, they estimate their time taken to be reduced to 5 to 10 hours. Users also like that modules that they have previously taken are not included in the list of modules, so that they can focus only on the modules that they are required to take. However, users found that the layout of the modules was not intuitive, and it is not clear what NUS module the Partner University module maps to. Thus, we decided to change the layout to a tabular form, clearly stating the Partner University module code and name, and the NUS module code and name. With all the refinements made, we presented our final application to our users for the last round of user testing. Here are some of the comments that our users made. 
Lastly, we ask our users to read NUS Exchange Go before and after ref the refinements that we made to see if our changes made an impact on our user satisfaction. Our team has enjoyed the process of creating NUS Exchange Go to solve a problem that many NUS students face, and we hope that through our application, every NUS student will be able to achieve their dream exchange experience. Thank you.